A month ago, we were in Montana and had no idea where we were going next. But the beauty of this RV lifestyle allows you to make last minute decisions. We decided to head to a place we hadn't been before. Welcome to the Oregon coast. This is our first stop of many during our month-long visit in Oregon. But we are in the Pacific Northwest. Well, I got 50 cents. Is that good? If you've been there, you know how amazing it is. And if you haven't, well, we're about to take you there. Well, we made it to the first stop. It's the infamous Cannon Beach. And I, I think there's a way you can get down here a little closer, but we just stayed on 101 and uh, got a little viewpoint area here. So we just checked it out, take a little breather, and then uh, on to uh, Rockaway Beach. Well, we made it into Paradise Cove, and I, you know, I always, I, I try and get some video occasionally if we're like backing in, but I guess we just get so focused on backing in uh, that we uh, don't get video of that. But you know, maybe not that it really matters. But what's interesting about this site, this took us a while to get in, and it's not that it's a tight site; it's actually uh, to the contrary, it's very wide. But it's uh, the sewer is way in the back. We actually had to take our bikes off the bike rack so we can get back here because it's way back there. I mean, I had to use every bit of sewer hose that I have. I got two 10 foot lengths, so it's, it's way back there. Let me show you how deep we are into the woods because we're gonna have a great view in the back it's gonna be we'll be able to pick out every kind of leaf that uh, there is in Oregon because we pretty much are on top of all the leaves all right Pam Pam's gonna demonstrate our view out the back window I just showed you how close we are so this is this is like a horticulturist dream spot because you can sit there and just you know oh that's what that kind of leaf that's that kind of leaf but here's what we're looking at yeah well you know it's better than looking at another rv that's so true. yeah that's true when i was looking at the rear view camera on the uh, the way back in it was like oh my gosh i feel like i was backing into the woods and i almost did but yeah this will be cool it's uh i mean it's funny because it's 50 amp service we thought we we're gonna need 50 amp when we booked this uh, for air conditioning because you know it had been hot uh, I think we're gonna need the 50 amp to run the heaters because it's gonna be chilly so. so this morning in our campground I have been just so excited because I've been out picking blackberries wild blackberries Oregon blackberries that grow literally everywhere so I already went down and kind of you know collected all the ripe ones from this area here maybe you can show where I've been all in the woods and and uh the funny thing is is like in texas when we when we collect blackberries we have to be concerned about snakes because there's always snakes in blackberry bushes and here i'm thinking oh there's no snakes and i look down there's a snake but anyway a guy told me it was a garter snake so harmless it was fine but what's really cool is this is just proof of how they are literally everywhere they're literally everywhere so I'm in the kitchen cooking and I look out the window and look, look at this. How crazy is that? They're all up in this, all up in this, I guess it's a spruce bee. I'm not sure what kind of tree it is, but um, looks like a spruce or some kind of a little pine. So I'm going to pick some more berries. So we don't want you to get too grossed out. She did pick most of all these blackberries in the woods because if you notice something else that's down here. What? 
Oh, I'm I'm staying away from all of the <laughs> it's all right, of the sewers. It's stuff. right by our stinky <laughs> slinky, so uh so we may have to pick those out of the pack and just but it is kind of cool because they are growing everywhere, even on the road up to this campground. So uh we've seen them on some of the hikes and every place else. So oh, yeah, I, tons of wild berries. Yeah. I'm glad there aren't bears here because they might like them too. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> it's awesome. All right. I'm gonna make sure that the ones that she's picking right now we're gonna get 86th. Many of the RV campgrounds on the Oregon coast have access to the water and Paradise Cove is no different. They have multiple sections. The ones by the water are tight and 30 amp only. We chose to be across the street up on the hill which are 50 amp sites and they are much wider. Being close to the water in Oregon means Dungeness crabs. You go from there to there. This would be a keeper. If it was, if it was a male. If it was a male. Yeah. Because it's inside the... Can I have your phone? You're not getting it back, I didn't realize that he would grab it. Just not let go. Is he trying to make a call? <laughs> they let you go crabbing right off of their docks, and they have a crab boil set up so you can cook your catch. Ken and I are on our way to explore, really, for the first first time uh, since we arrived yesterday afternoon, the Cannon Beach area. Um, we arrived at the campground and uh, it was beautiful. Actually, it was beautiful weather. Our first view of Cannon Beach from the highway and uh, it was beautiful. Didn't have a lot of time after we got set up. Uh, we did go watch the sunset, which was really pretty at a little nearby beach, but we are headed to the downtown area before we go do some additional um, hiking and, and exploring and stuff. But we're so sad because um, it looks like the typical gray Pacific Northwest weather. Well, it's not weather. raining. It's not raining, and it's a little cool, so it's it's fine. It's yeah. actually, I think this is probably what you could expect. We were fortunate that yesterday was just so glorious. We'll show you a picture of when we stopped at uh, uh, just the overlook of Cannon Beach. It was just um, a glorious day, but this is what you got to expect. So that's why well, it's probably it, so green and lush here. It's 63 degrees, so I know in Texas. Uh, they're having a heat wave, a continued heat wave, because they've had one all summer. It's been awful there. But anyway, uh, 63 degrees is a lot better than 100 plus, so we'll take it. But anyway, you guys come with us. We're gonna have fun. One of the things we wanted to see on the Oregon coast most was Cannon Beach. As one of its top travel destinations, Cannon Beach is among the most famous features. There's plenty to see and so much to do here. It's probably most recognized for Haystack Rock, which is the giant looming legend of town. And it's the most photographed features in all of Oregon. We had heard about a really good place to eat with a pretty unique name, so of course we had to go check it out. It might be the only hardware store with an incredible restaurant that we've ever seen. What do you think? It's the only restaurant I've ever been to that asks you if you want a window or an aisle seat. Another must-see in the area is Bruce's Candy Kitchen. They've been a family tradition here since 1963, and going there is like taking a step back in time. You can even watch as they make their famous saltwater taffy. What we get? Pizza. And I'm so excited because this pizza a feta, I don't know if that's how I, you say it, but anyway, I watched some uh, YouTube videos and it was highly recommended. So here we are. Oh, even the, <laughs> even the dog biscuit. Let me get this to make it. So I, I watched, uh, like I said, I watched some YouTube videos to um, to kind of find out the places to go and things to do and see. And this was recommended by several of the videos that I watched. And let me just say, it did not disappoint. It's so good. Just a short drive away is easy access to Haystack Rock. So it started misting at uh, when we were in, in at Cannon Beach, and so we started driving away. And as we started doing that, we could start to see the clearing, 
And we're right back, right we're by right Haystack on, Rock. Yeah, but we're right on the edge. You can see that. Yeah, but it's really now. cold. So we're going to walk to the beach. But then we saw this sign. Look at this is kind of <laughs> scary stuff right here. <laughs> Tsunami. Jumping uh, home guard. That's not scary. Toxic razor clams. And then just your general warnings. I think they've I think they've covered it all. <laughs> I think it's all been covered. You think there was a lawyer involved in this because they they've got everything every box checked. So anyway, we're excited to go see I think it's Haystack Rock, isn't it? Haystack the, Rock. The yeah, famous it's one? Like right there. It's right there. Yeah. Let's go see. Let's go. Pam, what time, what time do the puffins come to Cannon Beach? <laughs> the puffins come at 3 o'clock. No, no, in all seriousness, May... 3.30? <laughs> May until Labor Day. So, with any luck, we might get to see some. We may get a late puffin, because it's after Labor Day. Several days later, we had beautiful clear skies, so we decided to go back to Cannon Beach and Haystack Rock for a sunset. It's just so weird because you, you associate elk with being up in the mountains. And we've heard they come down to the beach, and that's just proof that they come down to the beach. Yeah, someone was saying that they were at uh, Haystack Rock and they came out on the beach. See if we find them on the beach. Well, that was very cool seeing elk. <laughs> I just would have never expected to see elk there. I mean, people told us about it, but now we're going down to Haystack Rock. It's been a beautiful, cloudless day. I don't know how many days on the Oregon coast are cloudless, but this is one of those days. So we're going to Haystack Rock to catch a sunset. And we're actually okay. early. Huh? Oh yeah. Early. Well, if we don't hurry, we won't be early. But look, I love, I love the way that. Um, so we parked obviously up there on the road, and I love how you have to walk down this really steep road mm. to get to the beach. I love it when I walk down the steep. I road. like walking up it. Too. I don't like walking up it, but we'll have to do that. A, a jacket. But we are in the Pacific Northwest, so I guess that's to be expected. Getting a local's advice on what restaurants to go is usually a great idea. And this one was a great idea. Down in Bay City, just about a 20 minute drive from where we were, was the fish peddler. And you'll see in this video just how good it was. So we're going to get some seafood finally here in Oregon. We heard this is the place to go. It's at a place called Bay City. It's about uh, 15 miles from where we're staying. And uh, it's called a fish peddler. And it's not quite clear if it's a restaurant or just a fish market. We think it's both. Um, but we're going to go in and uh, check it out. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm excited. I know you are. Look at that bowl over there. I've never had uh, french fries with fish tacos, but hey. Why not? P.S. There was this dance. Wow, that's pretty amazing. All right, so I just got to tell you, for those of you that love Chipino, that I love Chipino, if you got that in San Francisco, first off, there's a whole lot of other issues if you got it in San Francisco, but if you had got it in San Francisco, that would be $40. I think we I got it in Mendocino once, many years ago, and it was like $35 or $40, and it, and it was no better looking than that so i'm excited 
that is on that taco. Oh my. Well, you know the food is good at a place when you're in town for just a week and you go out to dinner twice and you go to the same place twice and order the same thing twice. Watch me. All right, so I'm a creature of habit. I told you I was gonna do it. I got it again. <laughs> I got something different. I got the uh, Dominic's Panko Fried Rockfish, and they they uh, they bring it in fresh and um, and batter it. I guess you could say here. And then I'm also learning about the mushrooms of north of the northwest because I've seen some really unusual. As we left the fish peddler on our drive back to Paradise Cove, we noticed a great sunset. I happened to have the drone and it was a great time to put her up in the air. Join us again as we explore more of the Oregon coast. And the best way to do that is hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified of when these new videos come out. Thanks again for watching.